Nanga wonder Yonanga Nura, Ajam on the Yata Dari. Welcome to Ajam on the land country. In South Australia's Flinders Ranges lies a national treasure known as Australia's Outback Amphitheatre. Ikarubulpina Pound is on Adnamatna land. People have lived there for tens of thousands of years. And the traditional owners call Wilpina Pound Ikara, which means meeting place. Adnamatna elder Mick McKenzie is one of the tour guides at the Ikara Wilpina Pound Resort. He has spent almost six years sharing his nation's culture and heritage, but that had to stop when the resort closed temporarily. It's about the health, you know, people's uh, well-being, blah, blah, so we had to uh, close it down. COVID-19 has devastated businesses across Australia. Some of this went on the job keep and job seeker. Um, it's, it had a real impact for the people that started after March. Adnamatna woman Charlene Tree says the lockdowns have taken a substantial toll. It's had a huge impact um, on our business. Um, during the last round of lockdowns, we were almost booked to capacity and we had, um, I think, 240 cancellations. Despite this, there were some benefits for the local wildlife. It was good. There was no humans. <laughs> but I tell you what, though, the animals and the bird love and that came back into the resort. The yellow-footed rock wallaby, the Andu, uh, was coming into that uh, near our quarters. Never before. Now, the tours are back on and they have been included in an online database of Indigenous tourism experiences on a national, not-for-profit portal called Welcome to Country. It has been designed to help businesses grow. So 80% of all the fees that we collect go back to the community. When I say community, it goes back to the operator. Charlene says it is a great idea to have the cultural tours featured on the website. I think any exposure that we, positive exposure that we can get um, in relation to our tours and just our business generally would be a positive for, for us here. Sharing our culture through tours just still does that for me, you know, like it breaks down that barrier between um, Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal people it gives them an insight into our culture because I think hatred and racism comes from ignorance and people are, are afraid of what they don't understand.